So here's a video about the uh, supercharger that uh, we made for the uh, we put on the five horse Briggs and Stratton. It's a belt drive. Uh, I'll just uh, pull it apart here. So I removed the nut from the end there. As you can see, the, the shaft for the uh, impeller is about a quarter inch in diameter. And uh, then there's the, your seal area on the back of the compressor. So the impeller's still uh, inside it there. It's, it spins around in there. Uh, so my friend made this uh, bearing housing for it here. That's how it works. Um, <clears throat> he used uh, two uh, bearings. I'd say they're approximately a quarter inch uh, in, uh, diameter for the shaft there. Uh, height very high speed bearings so that they can take uh, the RPMs we spin it at. Then uh, he threaded the uh, shaft and uh, made that housing that fits onto the uh, compressor housing there. Uh, here's a uh, uh, turbo shaft compressor and turbine out of a wounded Ford Thunderbird. So you can see the the compressor is like destroyed and uh, the turbine is also the blades are supposed to be a lot taller here uh, what we think happened was the uh, the nut uh, like this famous nut here uh, unscrewed off the end and then the turbine freewheeled uh, in the housing and uh, launched itself and then eventually the exhaust it it sealed the hole so that the only place the exhaust where the engine could get out was around here and uh, you know ground the, the blades off in the process um, so you can see here here's uh, some seals and then uh, your two uh, bushings they're uh, oil lubricated and then another uh, seal on the uh, turbine side there keep your oil in the, the bearing housings but yeah it's uh, it's definitely launched so uh, anyway, then there's a little pulley on here for a, a small V-belt that uh, drives it. So just wanted to show you how uh, the belt drive supercharger was made from a, a uh, car turbocharger. Give you some ideas if you wanted to try that type of thing. Anyway, we'll catch you later.